What's up YouTube, Mr. Lamessi here, and today we're going to be doing a leveling guide for your assassin. So this is going to not be one of those crazy endgame build guides of all the perfect gear. Instead, this is how you get your character from normal, level them through to hell, and uh, then can respec into one of those really fun builds. So, we'll start off, uh, and I'll just say the assassin playstyle is going to be running traps. So we're going to be focusing pretty much exclusively in the trap tree with a tiny dabble in the shadow disciplines tree. Beyond that, um, this is a very good class for uh, leveling through the game. I'd say probably one of the best classes overall. So if you're here and looking for a fun class, maybe you're a newer player, whatever it is to play through the game, highly recommend it. Now, let's go ahead and start with the skills. So skills are very easy for this character. You're gonna go into Fire Blast, for the first couple levels here. When you get to level five, you'll put a point in Claw Mastery so that at level six, you can put a point into Burst of Speed. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, I like to get five points into Burst of Speed. This is just very helpful as it speeds up your character, but also speeds up their trap laying ability. So I can cast these a lot faster because Burst of Speed gives me attack speed which is what's used for traps. Just a fun little tidbit right there, not FCR, but attack speed is used. After that, I'm gonna come back over here. Uh, at 11, I'm gonna do Fire Blast. At 12, Wake of Fire. And I'm just gonna continue maxing Wake of Fire until I completely max it. Once I've maxed Wake of Fire, all the rest of the points are gonna go into Fire Blast. Super, super simple, right? All we've done is 1-5 and then everything just maxing right here. Now, when you get around Act 4 of Nightmare is where you're going to generally see yourself wanting to respec. What does our respec look like? So we're going to take out this. Let's go to our Shadow Disciplines tree first. First, I still usually want to get a couple points at least into Burst of Speed. So I don't mind putting this back up to 5. You could go a little higher if you want, but I think 5 is still pretty solid. Then we're going to go Psychic Hammer, Cloak of Shadows, and Mind Blast. So the reason for this is, one, Mind Blast is going to give you the ability to basically have complete crowd control. These monsters are going to die to my Mind Blast because they're too low. Let me go up to Frigid Highlands. So not only are you going to be able to keep yourself safe by always knocking monsters back and basically infinitely have them stunned, but you'll also be able to convert monsters, as you can see here. And these monsters are now fighting for me, which means I can stand over here and just chill and hang out, and if I want to cast some traps, I can, and whatever I want to do, and I just keep stunning the groups and keep getting conversions, and I can just have my hands off the keyboard. It's magnificent. So that's one of the strongest skills in the game. Additionally, having Cloak of Shadows can be very nice, as it can make it so the monsters stay separated, aren't coming after you, all of that, right? So both of those are very good. Biggest thing is don't cast Cloak of Shadows during Ancients. It has a bug that crashes the game. I don't know if it's fixing D2R or not. Anyways, so once we have this stuff set, we can look at what we're doing with our traps. And we are simply going down this line. We're going to put the points, as many points as we can, into Death Sentry and Lightning Sentry. So let's say that we're level 40. I'd be able to put 11 points into Death Sentry and 17 points into Lightning Sentry right there. And then I'll just save whatever other points I have, or I can put them into something like Shockweb, since that is a synergy um, for our Lightning Sentry to increase the Lightning Sentry damage right there. Then, for every level from there on up, we're going to go to a Max Lightning Sentry, go to a Max Death Sentry, and then at this point, we can continue to put points into Shockweb. Additionally, if we wanted, instead of putting the points into Shockweb, we could put the points into Fire Blast. And what I love about doing this is you actually get pretty solid Fire Blast damage. You can see I've got like 233 to 336. If I put on, you know, some basic little gear with plus the skills, even like a Leaf, now it's up to 388 to 521. And this can be really useful whenever you run into Lightning Immunes that you can't break. You can just use some of your Fire Traps for them. So that is another option, but definitely max these two skills first, and then consider if you want to put the more points into Fire Blast, or if you want to put the points into Shockweb. Um, 
and then just make sure you have this set right here so you have your mind blast for always safety and your cloak of shadows for even more safety because this will blind uh, nearby enemies as well so like ranged monsters won't attack you and stuff which can be very very helpful and life-saving um, additionally you can also get a point into fade if you would like I prefer burst of speed for this character but fade is going to give you more resistances and some damage reduction so even just a few points in fade you can see gets you a little bit there that's also a slight option that you can do now in terms of stats uh, we're going to be looking at mostly just getting to vitality for every single point with the exception of around level 8 to 12 5 points into strength this is so I can wear a belt and I can just have this belt on so I can get these slots in my belt up to 12 potions instead of 8 potions. Beyond that, every single point is going to go into vitality with the exception of when it's time to start wearing gear, which when we want to get like an Ancient's Pledge in Act 5, getting up to 34 strength will be useful for that. So we could do that right there. Um you know whatever things if there's okay hisar's boots are 30 strength if i want to use spirit sword for some reason even though the fcr isn't beneficial getting the vitality and mana and stuff could be good okay that's 43 strength so i need to go to 43 right a little bit of strength here and there you'll probably end up somewhere between 40 and 60 strength i would imagine but let's talk about kind of early game gear that we're going to be looking for. I'll be looking for Stealth, Taloneth. I'll be looking for Leaf Runeward. This is plus three to fire skills, but are these skills fire skills? Yes, they are. That's right. So you're actually going to get fire skills from uh, for your Wake of Fire and for your Fire Blast. So get the Leaf, get the Stealth. If you want to do like an Adir or something, you can make an Adir. You could just do Rowls in a Helm or Tears in a Helm. Actually, Tears don't matter. Mana per kill doesn't matter on this character. Um, but you could do like Rouse in a Helm or something like that. Um, and so this is going to kind of be like some starting things. Maybe you find some Blood Fist. IES could be very nice. Get some rings that have some, you know, resistances on them. That's really nice. Get some resistances and life on an amulet, maybe. That could be super good. Oh, look, Nokazin. That would be a really nice amulet. All sorts of things. So this is going to be kind of what your starting build is going to look like right here, right? Maybe some Hisaris boots or fast run walk boots or whatever it is. Then when you get to Nightmare, you can start upgrading a little more. You can get that Lore Helm if you want. You can maybe try and get a Treachery if you can somehow get a Lemrune. That would be very good. Um, yeah, you're going to have the Fade Overwrite from the Treachery Armor. But the plus two Assassin skills is going to probably be worth it to make it still okay. Maybe you get like Sanders Gloves, get 20 IAS, which is a little bit even, you know, a little bit better for this character. Considering it increases her Trap Laying Speed. Oh, look, there's an amulet with 30 to all life and 10 to all res. Oh, this belt right here has 49 life, 11 fire res, right? Anything that's just going to be a slight upgrade on all of this stuff um, is great. Additionally, you can chop yourself a lower resist wand. Act 2 of Nightmare is my favorite place to shop this. You just go to Drognan. Whenever he doesn't have it, you just exit the town, come back in, try again. Very simple. And you can also shop a teleport staff. Same exact spot. Uh, act 3 normal and on you can actually shop the teleport staff and you can just get this to teleport all around and make it a little bit faster and easier for your character so overall um, yeah just finding gear with resistance stats life all of that uh, and then when we move forward we can get you know the ancients pledge in the slot or maybe we get like a rhyme shield this is a pretty bad shield for us we'd prefer to have it in let me see if I have one here that's there you go a ram shield and like a bone shield that'd be really nice any weapon with some IAS would be kind of nice um, or just using uh, I like to personally use the lower res wand in a bone wand in this slot because it's a very fast attack speed which means we get good trap laying speed and we have the lower resist charges right there so whenever we come across a monster we can just immediately cast that right there before we lay down you know whatever trap it is that we're trying to lay down so anyways i hope that that uh kind of covers all of the gearing and leveling and stats for this character um it's really just pretty simple and straightforward which is one of the things or one of the reasons i like this character i think she's so good and still underrated overall in how 
strong she is leveling through the game and playing through the game. You're going to have a lot of fun with the lower resist one. You're going to be able to kill a majority of monsters. Additionally, Death Sentry does a corpse explosion, so that's fire and physical damage. So honestly, even if you run into lightning immunes, uh, if there's some other monsters around and you kill them, the Death Sentry will usually blow up the corpses and kill a majority of the lightning immune monsters anyways. So really, she doesn't run into too many issues. And of course... You always have your Cloak of Shadows and Mind Blast to just keep you safe as you're playing through the game. 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10 on the leveling scale. She is very fast. You will have a lot of fun. And I hope that this is helpful. Enjoy leveling and playing through the game. And good luck in D2. Peace, YouTube.